Saw your new B9 four bar map sensors. Can you explain why they're why are they required? What PSI numbers do you see for stage one, two, and three? So uh, the map sensor, which stands for manifold absolute pressure, measures the amount of pressure in an intake system uh, or the intake manifold. And th this is the amount of pressurized air that's flowing into the combustion chamber to create more power. So the power adder device on a turbo motor is the turbocharger and it compresses the air. Yes. When the air is being compressed, it's really, really important for the ECU to know how much pressure is being created. The amount of pressure uh, correlates to the amount of oxygen going into the motor. And so this is one of uh, the tuning parameters that the ECU adjusts for to ensure that the right amount of fuel and timing uh, are being calculated for each combustion event. Uh, the factory sensors only read up to like, what, three, two and a half? It depends on the car, but yeah, no, on these, on this application, it's three. Yeah. yeah. So the, the factory sensors read up to three. The problem is that is less than the boost produced by, say, a TTE 810 or 710 turbocharger. And even if it's not, uh, we want, we always want headroom there. Um, so we do not like running up to and, and, you know, being within a few millibar of that, what that sensor can read. Yeah. Uh, so the, the four bar map sensors allow the stage three tunes to properly function with the right to boost pressure being measured by the ECU. Mm -hmm. um, we have been selling TT versions up till now. We may continue selling those, but we, uh, we went to an OEM and basically had these sensors spec out our own sensors. for our own for our own use uh, we we're able to bring them to the market at a lower price um, we have lots in stock now there's no availability issues we don't have to wait to get them from europe the tte sensors have been great thank you tte for a great product it yep. really helped us launch this um, but now there's another option on the market our our four by map sensors work with all of our tuning. They will also work with other companies' tuning that require. A yeah, they're a drop-in replacement. They're a drop-in replacement. Um, well, sort of. You do have to trim. Oh, I'm, I'm talking. Of, I'm talking signal-wise. Yes. Yeah. The, yes. the application they're being installed to is going to be the same as yeah. signal. They they do require some light trimming um, of the factory inlet pipe. Which is not a big deal, and you can you can revert to your factory sensors as well. Only for S4 and S5. For S4 and S5. Yeah, SQ5 and R5. SQ5 and RS5 and bolt in, which is fine. Yeah, so that, that's just, there's a, like a quarter turn clip the, that some of the sensors The problem is on the S4 is there's this janky like clip setup where you push the sensor and rotate and it clips underneath this like flimsy plastic clip. We have you cut that off and we use a screw. Um, and then you can still reinstall the factory. The provisions are there for the screw already. Yeah. It's, it's all. Yeah.